So let's go and uh, create text curves. So let's click let's click on uh, create and create text. I actually like working in um, author in uh, front view. Okay. If we create text, we've, we've noticed uh, there's a text here. So let's um, go ahead and uh, show our outliner. In our outliner, we've got um, this text, the word Maya. Okay. So if we click on the letter A, letter character A, that you you can notice that it's got curves. Okay. It's got a curved. Uh, it's got. Um, curves in it so see that it's got the out the exterior curve and the interior curve two curves in in that word so um let's go and let's just uh create another one let's so create um text click on this box here you see that you've got uh your word my in there so let's create uh Let's create my name, Gaudens. So, you've got the name Gaudens. On top of that, you, you've got options. Okay, you've got options of uh, you've got options of the font, font, font name, font style, and the size. So let's bring the uh, size up to twenty. Twenty and uh, yeah. And okay, we've got four different options on here. We've got the curves. We can um, write our write our logo, our name, or whatever using the curves. We've got the trim too, which can have a, some sort of a polygon and just trim your name in it, uh, uh, trim your name out of it. Or we can work with polygons. We can work with polygons as well as bevel our polygons. All right. So let's um, see how this works out. Let's uh, create my name. Uh, move to and just move it and again there you go we've got characters and uh, it shows out ex it shows us exactly how let's if we look at D the character D it's got curves in it just like I just like uh, Maya did so that's uh, pretty much um, what you can this is what that's pretty much what you can do with uh, text for now okay so Let's um, go a little bit deeper and uh, let's just uh, delete this. Uh oh, there. Let's just delete this and delete that. So let's try and uh, use our trim option. Let's try and use our trim option. Uh, same, let's bring this up to 20 as usual. Uh, create a trim op a, our trim option. Let's go into um, perspective view. Our trim option just trims. We've got uh, our trim option just trims. Um, trims a name out of a polygon so let's just uh, shade it shade if we shade it you will notice that it's actually like a trim out of um, out of our polygon you see that a flat out of a flat surface so it is let's go ahead and uh, write something else delete this one again Delete that and uh, see how poly works. Now, if you look at poly, you've noticed that it's um, it's got all these options. Okay, it's got a lot more options as compared to trim and curve. So, if we look at poly, we've got um, we've got type, triangle, quads, um, general uh, like uh, translation methods. We've got general count, standard fit, control point. I just use quads and standard fit, and you've got all these other additional um, 
additional menus. So I would advise you to go ahead and experiment, see what works for you, see how everything does, uh, how uh, everything works, and um, yeah, that way you'll know exactly what what everything is about. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and um, make sure we click on quad because I prefer it that way in standard fit. If we create a uh, um, if we create our object, if we create our object, you notice. Okay, let's shade it. If we shade it, you notice that it's got um. It's got there's two objects in here. There's two names as you can see, Gaudens and Gaudens. Okay, so there's an outline and the like uh, sort of cut out of uh, a polygonal surface surface pardon my accent it's a it's a cut out so and uh, if you see it's got all these little like you know like cubes and stuff in it so it's pretty much a cut out all right so again it's a flat surface as you can see so again go ahead and play with it and uh, see how that uh, works out one last uh, thing that I would like to bring up is uh this one here, the the bevel two. All right. So if, if I if try if I try to create my name, all right. If I try to create my name out of a bevel, it will be out of a um, polygon or whatever. It will be beveled. So it will have all the like nice beveled. Let me show you what I mean. Again, I like my name to be twenty size twenty. Okay. And it's got bevel width. If I try to bring this down a little bit, 17. Bevel depth, yeah, whatever. Uh, create caps. It, 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 you've got an option to create uh, uh, caps at the start and at the end. So you can either click on that or unclick it. Well, uh, see, uh, click and unclick it and see what which um which one you like most, which one you like best. And you've got all these other um options that you can either concave it convex it you know you can um, have a uh, straight side edges straight front edge straight corners you know all this stuff you can play with it and see how your logo will work or how your text or how your text will be this uh, I might some um, mention this this text as type of text that you would use to create some sort of a 3d graphic uh, more like logo kind of thing you know when um, working with um, your 3D uh, animation or your 3D movies or whatever, you can actually have these texts pop up like, or like the Hollywood sign or things like that. So, yeah, you, you get the idea. Again, play with it. Um, yeah, so if we, if we create this, if we create my name, create, you notice, let's just close the, okay. You will notice that my name is here, okay? It's got all the... It's got all the... Um, some sort of beveled, you know, like cut out of a, a polygon a polygon surface. And uh, it's got like more... Um, more lines in there, you know, it's... It's a... Uh, it's cool. That's a, a, a right word that I would use. It looks pretty cool to me. So, and again, if we try to uh, bring bring up the bevels, make the bevels really uh, prominent, we can just um, uh, delete this. Delete both of them. Okay, create text. If we bring up our bevel, if we, if we bring up our bevel high, Create again. See? Our text will be all beveled now. Our text will be all beveled. So, yeah. Play with this and uh, see how that... I'll, I'll turn off Skype now anyway. I forgot to turn it off. Um, yeah, play with it and see how that works for you. And I uh, hope um, you like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe.